Well, welcome to part two. Um, as I said before, it's the vocation of us Canadians to be pressed into, you know, pancake thinness by Americans on the one hand and British on the other. We spend half our time explaining to the Brits that we're not American and the other half of the time explaining to the Americans we're not British and we have no time to be anything else. Um, and I've sometimes found myself in a mediating position because I understand how to speak British and I understand how to speak American because I'm a Canadian. So sometimes I'm able to, you know, improve situations which are... Well, for example, at Heathrow Airport about six months ago, I was coming back from a trip abroad and there was um, somebody in the way. No, there was, <laughs> there was uh, a young American woman and the immigration officer was having great difficulty in getting answers from her that he could understand. Uh, I think it went something like this. He said, uh, what, what is the, the purpose, as it were, of your visit? Uh, like, like? <laughs> like, 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 like? Uh, like Big Ben? Like, like Westminster? Uh, like, like, like? West, like, like, like the Taj Mahal. <laughs> I, I beg your pardon. Uh, oh, just a moment, uh, officer. I speak American. Um, <laughs> could you, could, young lady, could you repeat what you just said to the officer? Like, cool. <laughs> um, like, like, like. Uh, she's saying that she's saying I, as it were, relish. <laughs> Like, 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 uh, the resemblance, <laughs> etc., etc. I have to tell you, I have to tell you that uh, some of these little snippets, what do you want, whatever you want to call them, impersonations, representations, deviations, uh, do have a certain humorous aspect, but they don't, and none of them have punchlines. So you know, don't sort of laugh like in little bitsy ways, waiting for the biggie, <laughs> right? Because it's not going to come. I mean. I'm not so immodest that I'm going to deny that I'm in some respect invent, in, inventive with respect to these things, but unfortunately I'm just no good at punchlines, so make up your own punchlines and laugh harder throughout because you're not going to get a chance to laugh at the end. <laughs> also, did anybody read about this discovery uh, somewhere, somewhere in the United States about the uh, part of the frontal lobe of the brain where the humor center is? Did you hear about that? No, you didn't. Well, it's an amazing thing that, uh, that if it's electrically stimulated in, in a particular way, uh, the subject laughs. And not only laughs, but finds funny whatever is going on, whatever it may be. So if you find that I'm not very funny, <laughs> but you want to get your non-money's worth, <laughs> right, just press very hard <laughs> over here. here